Big news today is the BCHL has announced its return to play. Today, the Vipers are extremely excited, and we had a chance to learn a little bit more with Executive Vice President of the Hockey Club, Todd Miller. You know, I, I think there's a little bit of shock there, to be honest with you. I think you work so hard and so long on, on a lot of things, and then all of a sudden you, you have real roller coaster moments. One minute you think it's going to happen, the next minute it's not. And to, to have it happen like it did, was it's exciting. It's very exciting for our team, for our group. It means so much to, to those kids to be back on the ice, knowing they're going to play meaningful games, and, and just really, really looks good on that. But I think there were so many people that, that did so many things to make this a, a reality and a possibility and uh, it's an exciting day for our club for sure. Obviously the pressure's off a little bit in terms of knowing, but now there's probably different pressures, logistics, where people are going, how many times, testing, all that sort of stuff. Uh, are you aware of the logistics yet? There's so many things we don't know at this point, and there's so many small details, you know, pod cities, there's lots of rumors out there, lots of different things, and, and so many things we don't know. Uh, the one thing we're sure of is we have the go-ahead to play, and I think that's the most exciting thing. I think whether it was uh, at 8 a.m. in Armstrong or at 11 p.m. in Vernon, these kids want to play. And, um, you know, I think the other stuff that needs to be worked out will be worked out over time, and will come out here over the next few days and few weeks as we prepare for what looks like it'll be an April 2nd start. But even at this point as we talk, uh, so many unknowns, tons of rumors, but uh, nothing that we can confirm yet. There's ripple effects. There's there's people that are affected by this and, and you know, those things that you mentioned earlier about knowing and not knowing and thinking you're going and not going. I mean, challenges on everybody, but everybody seemed to pull together. Uh, maybe a chance to recognize those people that, to, to help get the job done. You know, our league did a tremendous job. Um, Chris Hebb, Steve Cocker, Jake Baker, our league office, Graham Fraser, who's the chairman of the board from Penticton. And then, you know, they had a return to play task force that was formed almost right from the get go. And when I say that, I'm talking from March of 2020 to this point. They worked a lot of tireless days and tireless nights and um, the challenges and, and I know the plans that had to be sent and resent and resubmitted and everybody sort of felt like we were maybe withholding information. The truth was we didn't have any information more than anybody else had and I think that's the real key here is, you know, you have people in your organization who are involved who have also worked tirelessly, you know, people like our staff and uh, our coaches, our billets have been tremendous. We know it's been a tough year on them as well. When you talk about the length of time in which the players have been in their homes now it's going to be even more and some of what's being asked here as we move forward will provide challenges for them so you know that's been a real key group and and then you go to your sponsors and your season ticket holders your volunteers there's been a lot of patient people throughout this and uh, as much as we're not going to be able to have fans in the stands and as this won't feel like a, a regular year I think the most important thing as we said we've all banded together right from top to bottom to keep these kids on the ice, worry about their mental health and get them back into a situation to showcase their skills and, and move towards towards hopefully securing their futures. And, and that's what's most important. And again, just a tremendous thank you to everybody who's worked so hard on this.